I might, hang on, sorry. Am I start? Am I am I speaking then walking or walk, walk and talk? Fucking hell. The logo lamb. Itchy nose. Itchy nose. No, I don't. I don't have that game as a show. <laughs> a little bit lower, this would look really weird. <laughs> yeah, it would look really weird. <laughs> oh, I wish I could dance. My sister calls me white girl dancing because I'm so stiff. <laughs> Very superstitious. Writings on the wall. My face. <laughs> <laughs> right, come then. <laughs> Here we are today at the Grand Cafe. This place has been open since 1865, but there is a lot more history behind that. Let's get in because it's freezing cold tonight. Wow, this is absolutely incredible. I cannot believe that it was the Titanic that copied this exact staircase. It's mind blowing, absolutely mind blowing. Bar looks absolutely exquisite. Um, out of all your cocktails, I think I'm gonna have to try um, a dirty martini, please. Really dirty thing. Thank you. So this place first opened in 1872 at the South Western Hotel. As we all know, the Titanic left from Southampton and they copied the exact same staircase as they have here today. Not only that, they had the exact same original flooring as Queen Elizabeth, Queen Mother, danced and dined in herself. And for another name drop, we have Winston Churchill. There's a photo over here. Oh look, our table's ready now. Come and follow me, let's start eating. I need to try one of these olives. Green olives are my favourite as well. Mmm. Like I say, green olives, my favourite. Thank you very much. So, to start, I am having the pan seared scallops with cauliflower puree and a bacon crumb, and I cannot wait to try it. This does look amazing. I can't wait to dig in and I'm not even going to wait. Okay, so. Scallops look incredibly cooked. Soft, still got texture. You can taste the bacon slightly. Cauliflower puree isn't too strong. The seasoning doesn't cover up the taste of the scallops either. The whole thing together really complements each other. The bacon doesn't overpower the taste of the scallop either, which I love. The texture is incredible. Cooked to perfection, and I have had a lot of scallops in my time. Absolutely love every single mouthful. And it kind of tastes new every, with every different mouthful. It's been incredible. 
This last one doesn't even need cutting up. This is going full pouch, straight in, all in one, last mouthful, and I'm pretty gutted this is the last mouthful. Incredible. Best scallops, and they have to be tried if you ever come here. Compliments to the chef. Amazing. Now, for the main course, which I've been very excited about trying and which has been recommended, is the roasted herb crusted lamb rump with potato fondant, braised leek, Sweden carrot puree and a rosemary dew. Can't wait to try it. Now I know why this has been a recommendation of the locals. This lamb already, I can see, looks like it's cooked to perfection. Nice and beautifully pink inside. I'm extremely pleased about that. That means it's really going to be nice and tender. Let's dig in and give it a go. Okay, now I'm going to go right for the middle piece because I want to see how tender this lamb really is. Easy to cut, always a good sign. Now I'm going to go for the top half because I want to see how the herbs taste. A bit of this. And, and a bit of potato. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. The lamb is cooked, as I say, to perfection and the herbs do not overpower the lamb. You can still get the taste of the lamb through that. Now I can taste a little bit of the salt. I'm going to get the rosemary dew on it. And now I'm going to get some more carrot and the sweet puree on it. With the potato, I'm hoping this whole mouthful is just orgasmic. I have to say, that is seriously cooked to perfection. So now I'm going to get a bit of potato. Potato is also my favourite vegetable. Some lamb with the herbs. I always think when you get a meal like this, you have to have a little bit of everything. They put everything together for a reason, therefore you should get everything on the fork, as long as you can put it in your mouth. Unbelievable. <laughs> everything goes so well together. And I have to say, I have had a few lamb rumps in my life, and this has got to be up there with my top five. Seriously, seriously incredible. I can't stop eating it. I have to go straight in for more and more and more of everything on this plate, and they all complement each other so well. Now I can understand why this is recommended to me by the locals. Oh, and also, their lamb is from the local farms and they also get their fish from their local fisheries which can only mean one thing that it tastes incredibly fresh just like this mm -hmm, I've got this is a huge mouth this is another huge mouthful Last mouthful of heaven. Compliments to the chef. <laughs> Cheers to that. Mm. And last but not least, I have ordered the baked apple and caramel cheesecake and I'm very excited to try it. Okay, so just before I tuck in, I have to tell you that these apples in the shape of roses have been crystallised in cider, and I'm super excited to give them a go. So I feel like I don't want to ruin it because it looks too good. Okay, wait, hang on a minute. This has definitely got to be a number one first. This has got to come off the plate. Here we go. The moment of truth. That raspberry on there. Not too sweet. This is really creamy. The digestive is it your normal digestive that it takes ages for your spoon to get into? Like I say, look, it goes straight through it with no effort whatsoever. No 
a little bit of crunch, but not enough to, to make the, the fork or the spoon hit the plate. I hate that, I can't stand that. This is absolutely incredible. Mm. And I love the raspberry. Mm. I could, and I'm not normally the biggest dessert fan, but this is so not overpowering. And the caramel isn't so sweet that it takes over any of the cream or the digestive or the raspberry. It all works so well together and I am very happy that I made this choice. I'm going to have to be really unelegant. <laughs> and it's warm. Absolutely out of this world. I couldn't recommend this more if I tried. When I say this is the best cheesecake I've ever had, I really do mean that. Every mouthful is like a mouthful of heaven. This is a must have. Even if you don't want to have a main course here, I would come here solely for the dessert. Best cheesecake I've ever had. So I have nearly finished this, and trust me, it didn't take me long at all. Last mouthful, and I'm a little bit gutted about it, to be fair. Okay. Mm. It's just so creamy. Can I be really unladylike? Am I really doing this? Mm. It's not even too sweet. It is absolutely on point. I've loved everything about this place. The staff here were incredible, accommodating. The whole place looks lovely and it's really nice to chill out or just to have a drink, or as I say, to have a three course incredible meal. For me, I would have to rate Grand Caf a 9.2 out of 10. It really has held up to its name, and I would love to come back here again. I've been Tyler, and you've been watching Girl vs Food. If you'd like to see more of me again, have a cheeky like here, subscribe here, and follow us on our socials. Shish talk.